This is one of the larger temple complexes in uh, Mesot. Certainly, I think the largest one in the downtown area. That's the name of it in Thai. And my idea for this video is simply to walk through the temple grounds at a normal pace without doing anything fancy with the camera and simply record my walk. And then later on, I want to run the video through one of the shot lab special effects called uh, auto time lapse. Yeah, I think it's auto time lapse. <laughs> I forgot the name of it, but it essentially takes any video and does some interesting effects on it, speeding it up and slowing it down and uh, controlling uh, camera angles. And uh, it stops from time to time to linger on certain objects in the video that it thinks are interesting. And it uses some sort of AI algorithm to decide when to stop for a few seconds, when to speed up, when to change the camera angles and things like that. And I've only used it a couple of times. And I thought I would do that now, but I thought I'd uh, kind of talk as I did it at the same time, just so I could use the video in other ways if I wanted to. I'm climbing up into the, uh, the bell tower. And the idea in my head, of course, is that the monks would climb up here on a daily basis to ring the bell to mark certain times of the day or when it's time to do certain things. But every time I come up here, I find they're fairly uh, dirty and not really cared for. So it doesn't feel like anybody really uh, comes up here <laughs> except for the birds. And uh, the ladders always look a little bit sketchy. But anyway, I just walked up to see uh, what was up there. And for the sake of the uh, 360 video. So I'm not that familiar with this temple, to be honest. I've, of course, come in here a few times, but I don't have a, a good memory of the layout of the place, so I don't know exactly where to go or what the uh, special landmarks are. This is certainly interesting. I remember shooting video of this before, all the animals. And I don't know how the 360 camera will handle dramatic changes in exposure if I go inside and then back outside. But let's come inside here just for a moment. I often get startled when I come inside one of these temples because they have these very lifelike statues of monks who lived in this uh, temple before. And at a glance, they uh, they're very difficult to tell them from uh, like a real person. So I walk in and I'm talking on the video and suddenly I think there's a monk sitting there meditating and I feel like I've disturbed him. But then I realize, of course, that uh, it's actually a statue and not a, uh, not a real person. For this auto time lapse, program probably doesn't hurt to stop for a few seconds at some interesting locations. Maybe the algorithm uses that information to decide whether to feature that spot in the video or not. Yeah, I remember uh, never seeing much of interest from the main gate on the main road. And it's... <laughs> temple bugs but when you uh, come to this gate then you see this uh, building right there and it's quite a striking building because it is so tall and narrow it's a very uh, slim building 
You see it has a very narrow front and then it's very high. It's interesting, this one has all of the uh, SEMA stones intact. This stone right here, I believe, is, I don't know how to pronounce the word, but it seems to be spelled like SEMA, and uh, temple buildings will have, I've forgotten all the details already, but a certain number of them around the, uh, one of the main uh, temple buildings, sort of a special uh, marker stone. Very beautiful building, very ornate. And I've gone all the way around it in a full circle. And uh, on this side, it has one of my favorite Buddha images, the wandering Buddha or the traveling Buddha. I like this one. He's got the whole kit, walking stick, kettle, food pod, or like an alms bowl, and then an umbrella for the sun. Or perhaps it's also a, uh, a rain umbrella, not just a shade umbrella. Yeah, it's one of these buildings where you have to stand in one place for a long time just to absorb all of the detail. So much you wouldn't notice if you just uh, walked by it and never looked up. So that's one of uh, one of the planet Doug rules: always look up. <laughs> Which, oddly enough, is the name of uh, a movie from the last year. Actually, got nominated for Best Picture Oscar, which kind of amazed me. Uh, that movie, I think, it was called "Don't Look Up." And uh, I mean, actually, I thought it was kind of a fun movie, but I didn't mind it at all but it was certainly not worthy of a Best Picture Oscar, let alone even a nomination. But uh, that movie said, don't look up, but I disagree. I should, I say, always look up. You miss a, you miss a lot if you don't look up. Wow. I forgot how dramatic that building was. walk around uh, this building. And then perhaps you can walk back to the uh, gate. I'm trying to think. I learned all this when I visited Sukhothai and Gampeng Fet and uh, the significance of these Sima stones. And I believe the Sima stones go around the Ubosat. So this building would be known as, would be the Ubosat of the temple complex. And you know it's the Ubosat because it uh, has the uh, Sima stones. building here at the front that I think I'm going to go, well, maybe two of them. Did I go into the inside of this one here? Yeah, I think I did, didn't I? I think I'll go inside uh, this building right at the entrance, and that will be, and then out the gate, and that will be the end of the video, and we'll see what the Insta360 uh, AI will do with that. Oh, I see some people inside, a family. I think I will uh, leave them in peace, so I won't go inside there with my camera right now. I'll just walk through the gate. Stop near one of the guardian dragons.
perhaps go under the gate and I'll end the video right here.